Hey guys, um, today is actually going to be a kind of a personal video in comparison to some of my other ones. So yesterday I was with my mother watching La Llorona. Now, one thing that about me is that growing up as a kid, I mostly grew up on urban legends. And of course, when you're into urban legends, you tend to hear the most common ones. And this one, for me, the most common one that I heard growing up as a kid was La Llorona. And um, one thing that I find interesting is that I actually decided to look up different versions of La Llorona. And the one thing that I notice is that nowadays, every single version of La Llorona always involves a young woman named Maria who was born from a poor family. She falls in love with a rich man. She basically goes from rags to riches, has two children with the man, but then the man leaves her for a younger, prettier girl and she takes her anger out on her children, only to regret it afterwards. Now, one thing that I find interesting is that when I was a little kid, that was not the version of La Llorona that I had heard. When I was a kid, the version of, the, of La Llorona that I heard was actually very different from this. This version was basically, it was all the same, but what made this one different was that the man that the woman was with, he was not actually the father of her children. He was actually a boyfriend that she really, really wanted to be with. But in this version, it's explained that he didn't want to be given the responsibility of taking care of children that weren't his. So he basically gives her an ultimatum, that being that either the children leave or he will leave. And as a result, she misunderstands this and ends up killing the kids. And when she confronts him about it, he thinks that she's crazy and decides that he doesn't want to be with her, which causes her to severely regret murdering her children. Now, I was actually wondering why is it that every single version of La Llorona that I've come across nowadays has no similarities to this one. Now, the more I thought about it, the more I began to realize that one of the reasons why, why it's probably said like this is because it probably would make more sense. A woman so overwhelmed with anger towards her ex-lover, and as a result, she inadvertently directs that hatred towards the children that they have. Because in every single version that I've heard, it's the same. The husband slowly falls out of love with Maria, and not only does he leave her for a younger, prettier woman, but it gets to the point where he only pays attention to the children and not to her. It would make sense that in a fit of rage, she realizes that to her husband, the children were the most important thing to him, and as the greatest f source of a fuck you, it would probably explain why the versions that I hear nowadays are literally where he's the father. Because for her, what greater revenge against her husband than taking away the gifts that she had offered him? But of course, once she calms down, it's a huge regret for her. And it's really sad because there was this one version that I heard where it explains that La Llorona was an extremely vain woman. She knew she was beautiful, and she decided that she would use her beauty to snag the best man and she ends up marrying this guy only for him to leave her once her beauty began to fade and because well his family preferred him to be with a woman of his of his status it truly fascinates me because in this version it shows a very unique form of cruelty where in this version it's kind of implied that maria kind of blames the children for her husband falling out of love with her and how she seems to honestly think that there was no one out there who could have outdone her in beauty. And she clearly didn't seem to understand the fade that the phase that um, beauty fades, dumb is forever. And she's one of the best examples of this. But anyway, this is all I wanted to say when it comes to growing up as a child, hearing urban legends, watching scary movies, and it's kind of fascinating knowing how much it has changed from when I was a kid compared to now as an adult. And if there are any versions of La Llorona that you guys have heard, then feel free to let me know. Um, also, if you guys actually find this urban legend thing a little interesting, feel free to make some suggestions of other urban legends that I may or may not have known about, and I'll see if I can get into them. So see you all soon!